just in is actual footage of the Grammy acceptance speech of Voter Kellerman. Uh, we had him on the show when the album was released. We, we actually spoke about the fact that he was nominated for a Grammy, and now he's back. Voter Kellerman from his Grammy win at the 57th Grammy Awards in Los Angeles. At what started out as a tribute to Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi turned into a magnificent collaboration between South Africa and India, featuring 120 piece bands. Winds of Samsara was recorded over five continents and features artists like Ciro Hurtado, uh, Vanil Vegas, Cochin Chamber, and uh, Gayathri Suresh. Well, we've got the man of the moment in studio with us. Voter, congratulations. Thank you so much. I am <laughs> so happy for you. When I heard that morning when I arrived at work that you had won, I, I don't think I could have got a better piece of, of news than that. That must have. How did you feel? It was just amazing. I mean, it's a, it's a lifelong dream come true. You know, after all the years of hard work, you know, to be acknowledged by your peers. And, you know, I think the Grammy is, is to the highest award that you can win in, in music. It's the only international award. You know, in, in the acting world, there's the Oscars and the Golden Globes yeah. and, and the um, Cannes Film Festival. But the Grammy is, is the only really international award. So of course I'm just over the moon. It's the yeah. ultimate accolade for yeah. work done by you. Yeah. When you were making this album, I mean, it's a, it was a huge undertaking, as, yeah. as I mentioned in the intro. Mm. Did you feel you had something special there after you'd completed it? Yes. No, we, we you know, it, it started organically with just two songs, one for Nelson Mandela and one for Mahatma Gandhi. And, um, and then it just grew from there. And... Uh, you know, it was just, um, we, we knew as we were going that we had something really special going. Yeah. I mean, we're showing footage from, this was our old set, actually, in Morning Live. I'm not sure what year this was. But, I mean, this is, this is how far back your relationship comes with us, is that you're often coming in, you're doing your thing, and always happy to be with us. And, uh, and I mean, now your career is going to take a completely different path, I imagine. Yes, it's a, it's a big deal, the Grammys. Um, but you still, you know, we as, as artists, we still have to do the promotion. Some people do win Grammys and nothing happens. You know, you still have to, you know, do the promotional around it. It's just another tool in your arsenal to, and, you know, for me, I just want to make beautiful music. And for me, it's, uh, it just increases the opportunities for me to do that. Yeah, no doubt. Did you yeah. make... Lots of contacts. I mean, the, everyone you want to know was there. I yeah, imagine. no, we, it's a huge networking deal, the Grammys. People fly from all over the States and all over the world to go there, and there are networking parties. We arrived a week before. Oh, really? A week okay. before, just to go to all the parties. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. And I, I also sure. did some recording while I was there at the same time. Yeah. But there was, you know, you, you meet a lot of very... Uh, beautiful musicians, so future collaborations are started at the Grammys. You in, know. In, in reality, though, I mean, when you arrive, you're a Gran Grammy nominee, and yeah. yes, you do go to the parties, and I imagine you mingle and you chat. Yeah. But that night, when you suddenly become a Grammy Award winner, does that respect level suddenly go up, and everybody says, right, I am zoning in on this guy, and everybody just wants a piece of you? It, uh, that's the idea I have in my head. Yeah, it, it pretty much happens like that. Yeah. You know, um, we were just mobbed by people wanting to take photos with us, and... Um, it was just a crazy day after that, you know, totally madness. Yeah. But it was lovely. So I asked you, as soon as you walked in here, I'm like, where's the Grammy? I can't believe you didn't bring it with. But you're giving me this uh, background information saying you don't even have the Grammy with you. No, they post it to you three months later because they, they still have to make it, apparently. And they also have to engrave your name and that whole thing. So it takes a while. So you're given kind of like a dummy. Yeah, to, just to receive it. You, okay. Yeah, and then you, you give it back when you go backstage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you were happy because you went to all the parties afterwards, right? Yeah. You have yeah. to carry it around. Exactly. With you. Yeah, you don't want so, to. Who did you meet? Come on now, talk to us. Let's brag a little bit. I mean, <laughs> when you went to these after parties, that's what we always hear about are these uh, after parties and the people that you meet and you're mingling with. Who, who, who well, did you, you know the, spend time with? There are different after parties, and uh, we, we went to the main after party, and the really top celebrities don't go to that oh they don't no, they don't go they they have got a special after party that we don't have access to but i did see uh katy perry backstage yeah because as i after i received my award that they, they take you backstage to go to the media center and katy perry was rehearsing for the evening show and, yes. and she was walking past with someone 
carry the train of her dress behind her, you know. <laughs> and the I entourage, yeah. yeah. And I didn't go up to her and say, let's take a selfie. Oh, you, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't I'm, do that. I'm not a very starstruck no, person. I, I yeah. don't blame you. Yeah. I don't. Because, you know, you've got a little attitude too now. No, you can have some, so, I don't want to bother. I'm sure she gets bothered all the time. I'm so. sure. I can just imagine. But, I mean, I think just to be, just to be in that environment that you thrive on yeah. must have been amazing. You also had a, a, a beautiful outfit on the, on the day. Who made this for you? Uh, Lesego Malazzi uh, of Mzanzi Design Emporium made it. Yeah. Um, both me and, and Tulsi, my manager, who you also saw in, in the footage. Yeah. Um, he made um, design, you know, uh, outfits for us. He actually made three outfits for us. One wow. for the main. I had tux, black tux with the red buttons, yes. beautifully. And uh, the previous evening for the nominee's dinner. And the evening before that, we actually hosted our own event. Okay. We hosted our own pre-Grammy party. Wonderful. And then we had another outfit for that. So we had a full weekend of parties. I'm sure. And so you've just arrived back. I mean, you arrived back yesterday yeah. or last night. Yeah. You're probably going to be sleeping for quite well. After the media have got yeah. their bite and full of you here in South Africa, you're going to have to rest a little bit, I imagine. Yeah, it was a twi it's 28 hours of flying to get back. And, sure. uh, and uh, you know, I haven't really slept much but it's so exciting that I don't, I don't even want to you'll sleep. be running on adrenaline because we're so <laughs> yeah. proud of you here and and, yeah. and i know a lot of people want to chat to you um finally i know i've got a wrap uh what's in the pipeline what now well um yes i'm busy with another album that i actually interrupted to do this one and that that's nearly done actually we'll release it by the middle of the year yeah um I'm, and then we're shooting a huge dvd shoot of this winds of samsara album that we've that won uh, in India with um, a whole orchestra and a choir on stage in a very beautiful Indian um, old setting. So that's, gonna, that's a huge undertaking for us. Um, yeah. And I'm working with an English company, dance company, to write some music for their dance production. And um, lots of shows. We're playing Carnegie Hall later in, in the year. Yeah. And, you know... Uh, You're living the dream, <laughs> and rightfully so. I'm so proud of you, Walter Kellerman. Thank you for coming. And I know you've probably had not even an hour's sleep, but you're here <laughs> smiling and happy, yeah. and we're happy for you. Walter Kellerman, Grammy Award winning musician. He picked up the Grammy for the best New Age album for Winds of Samsara. And uh, that, of course, was uh, given out at a very prestigious event. And we're good to have the South African back in his land.